this is the xiaomi mi 3 the device with which i started my youtube channel basically and according to the tradition we have to flash the first ever custom rom on mi 3 and that's what we are going to do in this particular video as well and we will do multiple other devices with android 10 and how to install guides pretty soon as well we are going to start that off with the xiaomi mi 3 by the way the device is in great condition and i still have the screen protector the first ever screen protector that i installed on the device uh, when the mi 3 was launched actually the screen protector original mi 3 screen protector was not available at that time because i bought it in the first ever flash sale so i have this uh, micromax canvas hd screen protector on the device which is <laughs> which is still doing its work i bought it for like 100 rupees at that time 100 rupees was a very big thing and after almost five years i'm removing this screen guard and this is how the screen looks after removing the i mean i'll just wash it now the screen looks as if this is a brand new mi 3 i took a lot of care of the device and this is how the device looks everything works super fine currently i have the android pi rom which we had installed last time on this particular device let's see how to install the rom on the xiaomi mi 3 first of all switch off your device make sure your device's bootloader is unlocked and you have a twrp recovery as well just in case if you do not know that then go to xdevelopers.com you will realize how to do that now hold the volume up button and power button together until you see the mi logo then the device will boot into a twrp recovery which i had installed the last time as well now i have copied all the important files such as rom file g apps file and the twrp recovery file which supports flashing android q so let's go into install we are going to install the latest recovery which we need to flash go into install image scroll down you will find the recovery image which i had copied on in the device you will need to copy that as well select swipe to confirm flash one the recovery images file this says 3.1.1.0 let's go to reboot and let's boot back into the recovery because we flashed a brand new twrp recovery which won't boot itself uh, okay uh, apparently it's the same recovery so i don't know why i flashed that but i wanted to be sure let's go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset once that's done go back go into install scroll down select the aosp 10 rom and select swipe to confirm flash this is for cancro mi 3 mi 4 uh, it will work on all other devices as well if you want to download the rom and if you want to flash it on mi 3 or mi 4 then the direct link to download all the files will be present in the description box below do not worry about that as usual and uh, i want to answer one most important question many of you are saying that i do not upload a lot of rom related videos so that's true but that's because there are so many devices to cover these days that it becomes really difficult to cover those devices and do rom tutorials unlock bootloader tutorials and everything like that but i'm trying hard we are going to buy a second pc now so that two of us can edit at the same time meaning more videos can be uploaded throughout the year now so i'm pretty excited to see how it works out once the rom is flashed completely go back and now select the G apps package which is linked in the description box below only this is the G apps package which will work with this ROM do not flash any other G apps package because then your device may not boot after that now go to reboot and click on system uh, select do not install over here and now the device will boot on latest Android 10 version this is a flagship launched five years ago it has snapdragon 800 series processor and it was launched for 14,000 rupees only that pricing was bonkers xiaomi never priced a device that low i mean a flagship device at least redmi note series replaced this mi 3 series of devices and with mi 5 they priced it so high that they were never able to launch the mi 6 and we never saw another mi device as well. i mean mi flagship device we have the mi a series of devices but those can't replace these mi flagships which are available in the chinese market so if you get a black screen like this which is kind of normal according to the developer he mentioned that in the original post itself uh, just hold the power button and reboot the device once you see the me logo let the power button go and we have the brand new android 10 on the xiaomi mi 3 i'll just confirm that okay not now let's uh finishing android system update and as you can see there is a new font new icon pack let's go into settings scroll down let's go into about phone mi 3 as you can see this is the xiaomi mi 3 obviously android 10 version in a previous version of android you turned off access to your location turn it back on okay take it uh i'll just do like this if you long press on the one it will start rotating 
leave it over there and attach it like this the background will start moving and this is the android q for the xiaomi mi 3 everything works a uh, super fine sim card works according to the developer when it comes to camera application let's try that allow and this is a new type of permission that you get with android 10 which is also present with this particular rom as this is aosp rom you are going to get all the stock android features present in android 10 uh, select allow all the time or whatever you prefer uh, is the camera going to start let's see that okay yes the camera did start but we can't click a picture it says insert and sd card before using the camera let's go back there is another camera application let's try this now and this is the xiaomi's own camera application and it clicks a picture oh my god that's great let's switch to front facing camera and let's see how oh my god quality with <laughs> quality of the front facing camera is i mean uh, bad i would say redmi 8a which was launched for 6500 rupees just a day back uh, performs better as compared to xiaomi mi 3 in my opinion but obviously this is a 5 year old flagship device what else can you expect i'll just click one more picture and let's see how this picture looks and this will look good because it has different colors but still when it comes to details mi 3 can't even hold up against redmi 7a or redmi 8a but that's not the point of this video it, the point of this video is nostalgia and me being loyal to my xiaomi mi 3 and flashing the first ever custom rom on this device and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video if this tutorial actually helped you give this video a thumbs up but if you enjoyed watching this video for sure give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i am pretty much sure that not a lot of people are going to watch this video so you are already subscribed to the channel so thank you for that i mean i have a different type of set table top mount we have come a long way if you are watching my videos since i started doing videos on mithi fantastic thanks a lot do let me know your thoughts on how the channel changed or something like that that would be fantastic and i guess that's it thank you guys thank you for watching